let's see. There we go.
I guess, probably my second outside paid job was working in a retail store that is non-existent anymore. One of the things that I was asked to do fairly frequently was to change out the mannequins. Take whatever clothes that we had displayed on the mannequins, whether it be a half mannequin or a, a whole mannequin, a, a, a realistic mannequin, or maybe it was a, maybe it wasn't realistic. Maybe it was just uh, kind of abstract. Might have been a wire rack of sorts. More, no more than a glorified hanger sometimes. But anyway, I did that for a few months until it was time to go to school and the Christmas rush was over. And so I left that job and I didn't work retail again for a little while. After I was married, I then had another retail job and wasn't a clothing store, but they did have mannequins for various things and I would help do the displays and the mannequins for whatever display the whatever the display was just kind of had a knack for for doing those things and so I was asked to do it fairly frequently was watching a television show not too long ago uh, one of those collectible shows and they they went into a there's a house that was being used as a storage facility by this man and his fascination over the years had been mannequins various kinds of mannequins mannequin heads uh, had one room, nothing but mannequin heads. That was a little creepy. One that was nothing but bodies. That was a little strange. Then he had an area of old mannequins. And many of those were wood. That came to my mind the other day as I was thinking about this project. Um... The YTCCC 2021 Challenge. This month, our project challenge was shrink. We were to think of something that we normally think of as fairly large and shrink it down. Well, I remember those wooden mannequins and some of them were uh, well most of them were life-size people kind of an abstract kind of a ball on the top with this triangular shape for the body especially for ladies dresses and the like so this came to my mind the other night as I was trying to figure out what in the world I was going to do for this challenge. I thought about a couple things. I could have done another uh, lighthouse. I've done a lighthouse just recently, and so I didn't want to do that. I've turned miniature goblets. I didn't want to do that. I've seen some little wooden toy uh, animals, you know, various pieces turned and then put together in various ways to mimic some of the animals that we that we have uh, dogs cats mice elephants I thought about doing a couple of those I thought yeah I really wanted something nobody else would be doing this remembrance of this mannequin these wooden mannequins came to my mind and I remember seeing a couple of folks here recently who have done what they've called female figures, feminine figures. I thought, you know, those are awful nice. 
But what we have here, oh, excuse me, just a moment. This takes me back to those days when I was working in retail clothing and I was asked as a high school senior to work on the mannequins in the store, uh, for, at least for our department. I was working in the men's department, imagine that. Working in the men's department uh, as a high school senior and was asked to change the mannequins and those were it was kind of interesting how people would come in and look at those mannequins and then they would want what was on that mannequin. We sold a lot of clothes because of what was on the mannequins. So, therefore, <laughs> the department manager would ask us to change those uh, fairly often, sometimes a couple times a day. We were very, very busy. Uh, it was Christmas time. It was through the month of December. I started, I think, in Oh, mid-November and I worked all the way through December and into January even and uh, was doing fairly well but it was time for me to go to school I had let my department manager know that and so she she uh, stopped scheduling me right just before I was ready to to leave for school and that was fine that was fine. Those mannequins have never left me. The, the thought of those mannequins. Just got a little wax on there now. So for YT CCC 2021, the month of July. We've seen a couple of things already. Uh, not many. I think a lot of people are having issues with what they're going to do. Plus, this is just mid-month. We've got a couple of weeks yet. My family and I are going on vacation, and so I wanted to make sure I got this done. So that's what I'm working on here. This is a miniature mannequin. If I was real slick, what I would have done was gone out here to the dollar store and gotten some doll clothes. Would just about fit this little mannequin. The ones I'm thinking of. Let's see if we can't get just a little more wax on his head. A lot of those old wood mannequins didn't have a head at all. They would have a, uh, the, a shoulder area right through here and then uh, maybe just a stump of a neck maybe. Uh, no head at all. Or just come up and it would be rounded over. This, uh, this is taken after one that was a little more advanced. I uh, actually had a head shape that a hat could be put on. In fact, I may very well turn around here in just a moment do a hat to put on here. Probably do it out of some of my leftover down here at the bottom. In fact, I know I can. If you want to see others, other uh, challenge pieces, if, if you're not a part of this challenge and you'd like to see some, um, on my channel, I have a playlist of, of challenges as I find them. Um, you can also go to the channel Turnage de Bois, T O U R N A G E D U B O I S. That is Daniel de Bois who got this whole thing started. He keeps a, a running playlist on his channel. Of all of them he's, I'm sure he's got the most complete uh, listing of all the challenge pieces oh, okay that looks better than I thought this piece of wood uh, was 
was trimmed out of the tree in our backyard uh, back, when was that? In the fall maybe? And it's, uh, it's still a little green. I'm gonna speed that up just a little more, try to get just a little more shine on his head. She's gotta have a shiny head, right? Bring the tool rest back over. We'll lower it just a touch. Go in here and part this off. Parting at a slight upward angle. Sand that little nub. Let's turn that off for just a second. We'll rearrange and let's let's make her a little hat out of this uh, waste area down here. Uh, almost don't like to call it a waste area. Almost rather call it a leftover. <laughs> I'm gonna go back to my detail gouge. Might be about right. Let's round that edge over. Ever so slightly. To clean up this face just a little bit. his crown just slightly Back to my bowl gouge. So I want to take just a bit off of that. Still had some bark. I still have some bark. And we're 
beyond the outer bark. That's the inner bark there. I think I'll stick with that. I'll leave that. Parting down to about the same diameter as the, or just inside the diameter of the small part of the of the hat, and then I'm going to cut in an upward angle just a little bit. Run some sandpaper on that. We won't do the whole nine yards. I'm going to start it. Now let's start at 100. that edge here just a bit inside edge just a bit I just don't want a sharp edge on it try and get inside well I can but I've got to uh, let's do that. That bolt gouge is telling me it's time to be sharpened. In fact, I know it's telling me that it's been a while because I haven't used it. I've last couple of things have primarily been with the skew. So we haven't had to sharpen any bowl gouges. This sanding done. I've got one more little trick that I want to do to this before I put wax on it. may have noticed I did not slow my lathe down to, to do this little bit of sanding, partly because it is a very small piece, partly because it's small in diameter, and so the speed is not super terrible high. Plus, I'm going with a very light touch, wanting to get this done fairly quickly. all of the sanding where to get there it is um, I'm gonna burn a line right here at the base of the crown have to get a new burn wire. This one is, I shortened it, but it's not, not burning like it used to. Here it goes. 
once it starts smoking, we're good. There we are. Just want to touch that one more time with the sandpaper just to clean it around the burn. It tends to leave a little bit of a scorch mark on either side. And just a little wax to kind of finish it off. It's probably enough to do three or four of these hats. And I forgot about what I was doing underneath. I may have trouble gluing it on. But I'll do some hand sanding to get that cleaned up if I need to. Normally let this sit for 20 minutes or so just to off gas all the solvents that are in it, leaving only the wax. For video and demonstration purposes, we don't do that. I could let it sit, and edit that out, but I was kind of wanting to do this again, uh, real time like I did the wand. While I'm buffing this, let, let me take the moment just to uh, ask you a, to do me a favor. If you haven't already, if you would subscribe, if you like what you see and want to see more of my content, if you will hit that notification bell, it'll notify you every time I put new content up. Hit the like button while you're there. <coughs> Excuse me. And if you don't like it, uh, that's fine. Hit the hit the thumbs down button if you if you really don't like it. Um, if you'll tell me why, um, you're not going to hurt my feelings by not liking this video. If you'll tell me why, uh, that just helps me to, to do better. Then if you could share it, if you could share this out with someone who might like it, maybe you know somebody that works in a store who does the, uh, the mannequins, who does the displays for the store, maybe their department in their store. They may like to see this. <clears throat> Again, a slight upward angle. Because this is a straight parting tool, I'm, I have to do more than one cut. I, I go back and forth. down to about a sixteenth right there maybe here we go and she's off oh get my little micro skew there it goes What I'll do is I'll sand a little little flat spot on the back of her head and we'll glue that on and there you'll have her. I shrunk the mannequin. Whoa! Our challenge uh, was shrink something you normally think of as larger and do it in a much smaller version. So there it is. YTCCC 2021 July Challenge Shrink. A shrunken wood mannequin. Hope you've enjoyed it. Come back and see me on the next one. This is Doug at Wood Spun Round. I hope you are able to spin them around. Almost forgot. I wanted to share uh, some new stickers that I just got. Uh, these just came in the mail the other day, and I just wanted to share them with you because these guys... Uh, are, are part of what keeps me going as well. Uh, I watch their videos and they watch mine and we, we help one another. One is Brickhouse uh, 
Brickhouse Craftworks. Uh, Seth, he does a great job. You'll want to uh, tune into his channel and see what he's got going on. And then uh, uh, Webfoot uh, Resin and Wood Creations. Uh, Dave Eisenhower um, does a great job. Uh, he does a lot of resin work. Uh, also is turning some, some good looking pins. So you'll want to check out his uh, channel as well. And then thirdly, uh, last for this week, uh, Hodgepodge Woodworks. Uh, Robert and his his uh, uh, pet beaver uh, Harry, you'll want to check in and, and uh, see what they got going on. They're working out of Texas, uh, just different, good good looking work that, that Robert's doing down there. And so uh, tune in to all three of those guys, give them some love and some support. We thank you for being with us. This is Doug at Woodspun Round.